The future of food stamps is currently up in the air thanks to an ongoing debate between the House and the Senate. Fox 31's Colby Gallagher connects you to how a possible food stamp cut could affect Southwest Georgians. For many Georgians, filling their cabinets with food is a struggle, causing almost 900,000 households statewide to rely on food stamps in 2012 to feed their families. But those items may become even harder to get as Congress debates whether or not to include funding for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, in the upcoming Farm Bill. I know there's a lot of homeless people out here that really, really need, don't have no jobs, and they're already not hiring a lot of people, so it, it really would affect a lot of people. It, it, it'll affect me too as well. If I'm disabled, so I depend on food stamps, I don't get but a small amount each month, but if they were to take that, that's, you know, like a week's worth of groceries for me. By having to try and find a way to fill that gap made by the cuts, some say it would affect more than just those who receive the stamps directly. Albany City Commissioner Roger Marietta says with local vendors, markets, and farms, many more would also suffer from the lack of food stamps. Farmers benefit just as much as wholesale grocers, wholesale food producers, and retail grocers. All those groups benefit from food stamps, and they don't want them cut. But Commissioner Marietta says he's confident the bill won't pass the Senate without some sort of assistance. And residents say if food stamps do stick around, it wouldn't hurt to regulate them a little more. I don't think they should just give it away to anybody, a person that's not trying to do something. They should give it to people that are actually trying to do something with themselves and get their life together instead of trying to live out food stamp forever. That's, that's how I feel about it, because I know I'm not going to have food stamp forever. For now, members will decide whether or not they want to go to conference committee to try and work out a compromise on the bill before it expires in September. Colby Gallagher, Fox 31 News.